If you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can control your depth of field in the 3D viewport using an empty object as your control point. Now, in this example scene, we have three Suzanne objects. Each is its own distance away from our camera object. The goal here is when we go into our camera view, we want to be able to create a depth of field effect that is going to allow us to blur two of the three Suzanne objects. But we want to be able to control which of those objects we want to blur by using an empty object. To do this, we must first of all add our empty object. Hit Shift A, then select Empty, and select any of these options. Now, with the exception of image, you can pretty much choose any of these options here and get the same effect. It doesn't really matter which of these you choose. They just all look a little bit different. They're different visual markers. I'm just going to go with plain axis. And then I'm just going to orbit my view, enable the move tool, and I just want to move it in line with my closest Suzanne object. Next, I want to select my camera and enable depth of field. To do that, we're going to come down to the object data properties in the properties panel, making sure that the camera is selected, and then left click where it says depth of field. Now we can choose to either focus distance or focus on object. Here we're going to focus on object and we are going to choose our empty object. Now before I do that, keep in mind that the current settings that I have for my aperture, for the f-stop 0.1, blades set to 0, rotation 0 and ratio 1.0. I'm going to go into my camera view and you can already see that we have our depth of field in effect but at the moment we're using the focus distance and we would need to control this value in order to control the depth of field now that's fine but we want to use the empty object so left click here and then select empty now it doesn't look like much has changed at the moment, but you will see that the focus distance has been grayed out. And if we select the empty object and manipulate its Y value, we can begin to manipulate the depth of field using the empty object. If I turn off the viewport overlays, just to give us a clearer representation of what it's doing in our camera view, we can manipulate our empty to focus on the object that we want. If we select the camera and then we go down and disable depth of field, we will see that we have no depth of field in our camera view. So we always need to make sure we have this option enabled to get our depth of field.